<sighs> Whoa, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my eccentric, esoteric, indigo child, star sea child, indigo YouTube channel page. And we should talk about common sense. But I tried to keep it down at a nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, 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 very important. And not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people who drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listeners' discretion is advised. So basically, in a nutshell, if you're part of the sheep to slaughter, okay, you're really not going to slaughter, but it's metaphorical, okay? Um, if you're part of the general masses of asses, you should not watch my videos. All right, we got that out of the way. Okay, so let's say... You don't like asking questions or somehow you feel something is wrong and you don't even in, you're not inquisitive enough or somehow you don't have enough common sense to understand to even do any research on anything I say um, or you're very sensitive. OK, or you're very um, delusional and you believe in religion OK, because you don't know what those things mean. Um, you believe in Jesus. OK, you believe in Allah. You should not watch my videos. Okay? <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind is on right on the lower part of the screen. You're you're just a sheep to slaughter. But let's get on with the topic for today. Today's topic will be about how to unlock, you know, your inner demons and your angels, or you may call it many names. Okay, your third eye, your um, your Kabbalism, whatever. Okay, your Makba, okay, you can call it whatever you want, okay, okay, let me see, I'm denying these things, and um, what happens is that lots of people don't have that third eye awakening, they don't know how to unlock it, so I'm going to explain to you how to do that, if you have any comments, questions, insults, or even roasts, you put that motherfucker down below, okay, all right, all right, okay, all right, so you know how to contact me on my Facebook, which has not been banned, I like Facebook, I'm the one who caused the uh, Elon Musk to occur and also the Joe versus Wade, okay? But, of course, um, I, right now I'm doing the magic on the uh, paternity fraud, okay? You know, fraud. The word fraud is what I'm after. I don't like it. And I'm tired of hearing um, how women are more suicidal than men, which actually statistics show that men are more likely to go through with it rather than just with women. Statistics. I go on statistics, yes. But I also lose common sense. Without, before even using common sense, I mean, without before, I just started using deductive reasoning. But that's another story for another day. This video is on how to unlock your third eye. Now, the, for me, what happened for me, I had to go through a great suffering, okay? So I don't have sins like a lot of you guys do. You know, as I said before, sins, you become a sinner when you keep repeating wicked things, even if, if it's a mistake, you didn't learn your lesson. Everyone is born in, you know, you can say sin if you want to call it. Metaphorically speaking, we are all imperfect. And we go on our animalistic nature in order to correct ourselves. Correct? Okay, so that's pretty much what a sin is. Not learning from your mistakes. That's what a great sin is. Not learning from your... Let's repeat that. A sin is not learning from your mistakes. A sin is, go instead of being disciplined and focused, it is going to be... Um, you're running around with your head cut off. All right, we got that out of the way. That's common sense, okay? All right, that is what a sin is. All right, ignorance is also a sin as well. If you choose to be ignorant, it's up to you. And you understand what suffering is. Now, to unlock this third eye potential. Also, I'm going to talk about something else too. Um, no one belongs to anyone. So I just want to make that very clear that your makba, okay, your shell, your avatar, just because you create children, <clears throat> Does it mean that they are a part of your family? All right. Everybody's soul is different. Um, like I said before, by using common sense, mathematics is not the universal language of the law because the universe is unstable. It is a dream. We are in a form of a matrix. You cannot contain it to mathematical equations. You can't do it. It's impossible. Okay. Now that's impossible. Okay. Now, in some minute mind who think they're arrogant or <clears throat> boastful or prideful, <clears throat> I've seen some people try to talk and try to equate like they know what quantum physics is, okay, or whatever, okay? But you can't use technology when it comes down to the dream, okay? You know, the matrix, you can't use it. It's a dream within a dream within a dream. All right, so we got that out of the way, too. So to activate your third eye, it, to me, it works by through meditation and common sense and deductive reasoning, through isolation and also um, 
individualism, okay, right? When you have individualism, you start to hear the questions come. Um, these questions come in many forms, okay? They're demons or angels, they ask questions, and you try to find the answer yourself. Pretty much in a nutshell, that's how you open your third eye. You will constantly be focusing in on these questions of reality and life, and you'll realize, wait a minute, I've thought about it so much that I have the answer, but what's the purpose? The whole purpose of life is just to experience. That's all it is. It's nothing more than it. No matter how powerful you become, how knowledgeable you become, how what you have seen in a vision, because you're dreaming within a dream, within a dream to a dream. Your karma is the thing that creates for yourself. So whatever subconscious energy you have within yourself, it's all a delusion. Really, it's all a delusion. So let's say you... You, you hurt some, you stepped on an ant by accident. Okay, you know, you stepped on an ant by accident. You say, okay, I'm, am I going to suffer for that by stepping on an ant by accident or killing a bug by accident or eating leaves and thinking that you are a vegetarian, that you're saving the world, you're saving the planet? No, it's all a delusion, babies. Leaves are alive. Everything you breathe is alive. Okay, that's a fact, okay? So a rock is alive too because it exists. What do you think that you can see in this reality, no matter if it's on the other side or not, is alive because it is called the matrix. Yes, 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 my dear friends. Everything is alive, okay? The thing is, is that what would you make of this being alive? That is the problem. That is the ergo proxy of um, <laughs> your raison d'etre. You seen ergo proxy? That was a tight movie. Yes, it was. Ergo proxy. It's an anime that talks about um, uh, the Renelles. Okay, what's her? She's a detective. Her raison d'etre. Okay, but I didn't see the whole entire. I didn't. I didn't finish watching it because I didn't get a chance. But maybe one day. Okay, when I get wealthy or something. I'm already a missionary and I'm already wealthy, but not like that. Okay. I'm a poor missionary, okay? I help people all across the world. I just don't focus on, on America. But of course, I digress here. So to open up that third eye can be many ways. Sometimes some people hit their head on a rock to understand, okay? That I'm not your average man. I'm not your Peter Pan. I'm making this video because my inner voices and demons have told me to make it, make it, keep making it until someone sees my video, okay, right? But I made these videos before, okay? This is Mafia's knowledge. Nine, you're on right now. Okay, right? So understand this, okay? The concept of opening a third eye and you having family is irrelevant because it's all a dream anyway. Now, the delusion comes into play is when you believe in something that you have never seen before. And that is a problem, okay? That is a problem. This is why I don't argue with religious people. I say, you believe in Allah, a person who may have existed, but you never saw they don't go on evidence. They go on a something called hope and faith, which are not real. Okay. But it's all on what you make it because this is your reality. The world revolves around you. That doesn't mean you should be arrogant or something like that. But the world does revolve around you because I'm outside your world, motherfucker, right? I'm outside your motherfucker world. And I can say the same for myself. I say the world, the world revolves around me, motherfucker, right? Right, right, right. And I wear these headsets because it helps me to focus sometimes. It helps me to focus. Because most of you are just closed-minded pea brains, okay? <laughs> I'm a Gen X, by the way. No one else is like me on the internet. You're not going to find it. This is why I have a Patreon. <laughs> but anyway, I'm safe. I'm still in my little box. I still have my daughters, okay? I'm not crazy. But you may call me crazy. I'm crazy, Taxi. I eat babies and children. <laughs> But please, um, I know that Jeffrey Dahmer said black people taste better than white people. I know that, okay, because I read about it. I, I know that uh, Charles Manson was innocent. I know that, too. He didn't kill nobody. But I'm not doing that in that path. I wanted to go down that path when I was younger, but I said, no, I said, I don't have to do it. Somebody else is going to do it for me. Okay, but that's the, the side of the point here now here. Understanding how can you open your third eye can be. There's many ways of opening a third eye. Some people need to take drugs and marijuana. Like, they need to take a form of escapism. That makes them feel better. But they still won't hear that voice. They just won't hear it. Or the voice is. Okay, I hear three of them. They won't hear the voices. They need a drug to go to another parallel universe. And I said, please stay away from me. 
because you're still in your infantile stage. You need to go to the other side just to get answers. You can't even find it within yourself. Wow. Oh, shit. Now, the other thing is that um, I, I got my belly leaves when I was seven. So I became an indigo child when I was seven. And as I said before, I, this is my perspective. This is not subjective. And indigo children are born before the age of 10. They're questioning introspectiveness or Asperger's syndrome, whatever you want to call it, that makes them unique by asking questions, make them far more intelligent than the average person. When you start asking questions, you don't get those answers immediately. Those answers come later on. And at the same time, you are very self-conscious and aware of your surroundings. You are paranoid because you know how most human beings are, like children, right? So I got mine when I was about to chop my stepdad's head off. Yeah. And he said, don't do that. It said, don't do that because we're going to do something for you. And I said, okay, I want to see. I want to see. And it happens from the Ethiopia all the way back when I got from back from Ethiopia to America. As they have been with me ever since. And people who laugh at me, tell, call me delusional, will see the wrath of those spirits. I have nothing to do with your demise. Okay, I have nothing to do with your demise. I heard them and I say, okay. I'm not going to talk too much around petty little small-minded human beings, okay? So I'll keep my mouth shut. But I'm trying to tell you how to open yours. But you might not want it to be open because you're not ready. You still want to socialize. You still want to not focus on your health. And you're still going to focus on what other people says rather than get the answers from within. That's you. That's you. Right? Now, another thing is, you do not, your family is you. You are an individualism of God particle, or you want to call it quantum physics. Because I'm just watching this, uh, y'all should watch this a TV series called His Dark Matter Materials. It is a very interesting and very good TV series. Eight out of ten. Okay, sometimes the story can get con convoluted. Because you're missing some elements of the story. But the lore of the story is very good. I think it was Golden Compass. Before this came out, it was Golden Compass, and it was based on a book about from someone I forgot his name. But of course, y'all should watch. It's on HBO. I think HBO Plus or something. Just look it up. His Dark Materials. <clears throat> Azrael. Okay, Lord Azrael. Okay, and um, other than that, please, guys. No one owns anyone. No one is a family of no one. All right. Repeat that to me. No one is a family of no one. The reason why people say they are family members is that the fact that because they want to fit in. Okay. They don't want to be alone. Okay. That's all. They don't want to be alone. That's the real reason why. If you want to know what a kindred spirit is, a kindred spirit is very rare. People who think alike. Okay. They're about 90 to 95% accurate on all their thoughts. As a matter of fact, if you watch the TV series called um, His Dark Matters. To his dark materials, okay, sorry, correction, then you understand that um, when two people get together and they think they are compatible for each other, it may not be the case long term, all right? Okay, so understand this, I say 90 to 95%, some people can have things right up to the point to where it could just be 1 or 2% that things that they do not match, Okay. Sometimes someone could be so logical that they can't get along with that person anymore, okay? But, of course, the only way to understand this is to be more logical than emotional, okay? There is a balance. You should find a balance. But when you have your emotion with your logic and you combine that, you will be the ultimate powerhouse, okay? And it's not selfishness. It's for the greater good of society or whatever species of beings that may come into light, okay? Now, I'm not trying to sound like Jordan Peterson, but I believe that he's missing some elements of the logical side. But I like his knowledge. I like uh, Jesse Peterson, too. Jesse Peterson and Jordan Peterson. They got a lot of common sense, but some things are not perfect when I listen to what they have to say in their philosophies. I don't believe in religion. That's common sense, okay? Anyone who believes in religion are in their beta stages. You may talk about this, 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 this and that, 90%. Which is accurate with logic, but then you may miss in those elemental pieces. Okay. To socialize is a bad construct to me. Like, the more you socialize, the more you're looking for validation and attention. But anyway, I digress here. No one belongs to no one. 
everyone there is their own unique God. Now, genetics can play a part into having most of their thought processes, okay, to match yours, but overall, they may differ on you, okay? Like, I teach my daughters about deductive reasoning and hearing the answer from within. I tell her to get the answers herself. If she doesn't take the time to listen to those voices and she wants to be distracted by, I can't force her. I would never force anyone to make deductive reasonings and inquisitive questioning for a long period of time in isolation. I would never force them to do that. I would tell them, hey, you know, you either have, you have a choice. Everyone has a choice. Everyone, everything is a choice, as a matter of fact. But anyway, to unlock your third eye and also to understand that people are not your family. You, you can create them and they're still not your family. Understand that. You create children. That's not make, does not mean that they're biologically or genetically going to be entwined with your own soul. If you want to call it, you call it whatever you want. Your race on detriment may be too high for them to even bear. Okay? But other than that, that's all I really got to say about those two topics. I talked about two topics within 20 minutes here. So maybe you may need to spend more time with yourself. Stop seeking validation. It's good to go out there sometimes to free yourself, to free your mind, okay? But don't overdo it, okay? You know, like don't get yourself too wrapped up in socializing too much. Socializing is a bad construct to me. I am in I am eccentric, I am esoteric, I am introverted, okay? I have magical abilities, so I can't really hang around people in the first place. That's what they tell me. When you hang around people, you actually suffer the majority of people who hang around you who have the same frequency vibration. That's the whole Ethiopia or the Gambia I've traveled to. It seems like it's like when I travel with places, but a whole bunch of people start suffering. I say, I just left that place. I just left that place. Why are those people suffering? I want to go back there. No, I cannot because the same people think on the same frequency. Either they're either religious or they haven't become self-aware. It's that simple. They didn't use enough raison d'etre or inquisitive thought notions or questioning deductive reasoning. They didn't. Instead, they are biased. They go on their emotions. Emotions is actually a form of chaos. Like if you watch his dark materials, it talks about the authority and the Megatron. Okay, I heard that before what the Megatron is. And it says in the story that God is not really who you think you think he is. Okay, and he's a demiurge that has captured a whole bunch of souls and put them into prison planet like what Scientology thinks and Ron Hubbard. But it's all hypotheticals. There is no facts. And when someone says mathematics is a universal language of the law, they do not hear that voice. Trust me on that. They do not hear that voice. Mathematics is not the... See, where does mathematics come from? Mathematics comes from an idea. It's a way of logically putting things together. But there are dimensions where there is no... Mathematics will not work. Or purgatory or limbo. These things do not work in these different dimensions. As a matter of fact, if you're a comic book friend, you understand that very clearly. Even uh, Stan Lee created something where these beings called the Watchers, where time doesn't exist. I said, how can you think that? How could you think that time doesn't exist? I learned that from reading comic books, goddammit. I learned that from reading comic books. I'm like, yeah, time doesn't exist in this realm. What kind of shit is that, okay? There's no calculations for that. Because at the time you're putting an infinity sign on something, it doesn't work in that reality. But that's the most best way I can put it. Don't be too arrogant and a pompous ass to where you think and you understand quantum physics and you be like, yada, 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 yada. Because life is like this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. And go watch my Twitch. I do have a Twitch, so read my credentials down below. Join my Patreon at any tier you want, and we will always be cool associates because money is energy, my friends. A lot of time, people waste their money on things that they don't even need. Only at the moment they they start to give. Okay, but I've said a lot of facts here in common sense, and this is going on twenty minutes. Please, guys, please, you know how to find me. 
And I'm not looking for validation. I'm not looking for no attention on here. But I only make 500 videos per Mothius Knowledge. I've already gotten Mothius Knowledge 3 and 5 removed. I have no idea why they were removed. That's a part of my life. You can only appeal things when you can, we can when you can only appeal something, but you can't dispute it. That's a problem in the fallacy on their side. This is where Elon Musk came in to take over Twitter, and, and you can create your own uh, platform. Okay, that's what capitalism comes into play. You have enough money, you got enough servers. There you go. You know, that's the great thing. It's not a communist country. Okay, where a big granddaddy, all daddy authority is telling you what to do. Okay, and how to do it. Okay, but there's a lot of sensitive people. I don't get along with sensitive people. Sorry, just don't get along with sensitive people. Though, though I can be a little sensitive when it, when I see animals hurt, okay, or children being abused. Okay, I get a little sensitive. But sometimes some people deserve to suffer. But other than that, that's all I really gotta say because I'm not your average man. I'm not. Y'all, Peter Pan. Did you get the message? Did you get the message? Peace.